My name's Ed Waldron. And I'm Brandy Waldron. And we are the parents of Porter and Murphy. Um, Porter is a 13 year old son, and Murphy's 10 year old daughter. Both of them have ARPKD and congenital hepatic fibrosis. Um, they have both has diagnosed since in utero. Um, and it's, it's definitely been very impactful in our lives. Um, it's, it's affected, you know, basically everything. Um, we're at a place where we manage it and it's no longer, um, uh, this doom that hangs over our heads, but it definitely is something we, you know, we have to deal with. Um, at times we've had, um, you know, three months, every three months having to visit the hospital for, um, for, for just standard bleeds. for bleeds for standards. Um, I would say the most impactful things have been some of the emergency bleeds that we've had to deal with um, as a result of the condition. Um, both of them were um, subject to um, esophageal varices that would burst. Multiple at some time, sometimes multiple. Yeah. Um, Porter's first one. Um, he had seven bursts at the same time, and it was our first experience with it. And I would probably say that was was our most um, dramatic, scary, scary time. Um, you know, we were talking about it where we literally were racing to the hospital um, as he was being helicoptered uh, alone. Um, and over the phone, we're approving in transit uh, blood transfusions and being read the um, the descriptions and the the rights and it was just ne never a thought of where we overwhelming is a great word for it never thought where we would be um or what what the results would be as parents it was just um yeah but um but that that turned out you know, um we also live about three and a half hours away from chop so it is a very hectic uh, time when we have a bleed. We always have to go to our emergency, local emergency room. And uh, they have actually had quite a few helicopter emergency rides yeah. to chop without us. So um, we live in Maryland and Frederick and um, depending on traffic and situations, it takes us up to four hours to get to um, to chop. So you know, for normal visits, you know, we plan that out. We, we, we go pretty regularly. Uh, we make the journey. Um, but when it's emergency situation, our local hospital is just not equipped um, for what they deal with. And even to a degree, the, the next closest hospital would be John Hopkins. And, and we've actually visited them in the past and, and felt um, just wasn't the right place for us, which is why we picked CHOP and why we're very glad we did. Um, very happy with with the results. Um, you know, going to CHOP led us to um, Lurie's in Chicago, um, which was where both kids um, had their splenorenal shunts surgeries with Dr. Sabrina. Um, those were, you know, those were another trying time for us. Um, you know, we were away from home for about four weeks. Um, thank goodness for Drown McDowell House. Yeah. Um, but they, you know, pretty heavy surgery, and and both have done amazingly well from that. And and that actually surgery has slowed down. <clears throat> Excuse me. The varicose bleeds. It's been. It was those surgeries for both the kids. It was about two and a half years apart for each of them. Porter was first. It was life changing um, to stop the bleeds, and that he had, and as well as for Murphy, it was definitely life changing for both of them. That's why we chose to have hers uh, done as well. And so, no, and yeah. what we've um, what we've learned is um, for them, the liver, the, the CHF effect has been a little more severe than the PKD, but the PKD effect is there. And that's that's the next bridge for us to cross is is the kidney functions and and what we can do about that. So so we've We've been through forests, but we know there's there's still more woods to go through. But um, we couldn't ask for better kids. They they handle it amazingly. Um, well, they haven't known anything different. So yeah. you know, Porter's been taking medication since he was an infant, 
and uh, Murphy at the one point she's like why can't I take medicine we're like don't worry you you're going to so um it's just their way of life they don't know anything different they have extra precautions they've had spleen guards um they've had uh, severely enlarged spleens both of them and they know what they can and can't do they're good with their diet they're good with their hydration um but again it's it's a way of life for them that they've had to learn they're different but they're still normal um but there's different things they have to do like their medicine and and just uh they've explained it to their friends in their classroom and their teachers so that's definitely a learning experience for them that you know this is who they are you know and we have also broached the fact that eventually they'll have to have transplants and um what that might entail in the future for them yeah, I, that's yeah. mostly what we deal with and, and, um, we were just thankful for the opportunity to talk about it and, you know, we just. The community is, we've gone so far. And you and, and that, um, you know, like I said, going through the rest of these woods that, that there's, 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 there's futures there for them and, and that we can, um, we can extend the, their life experience as much as possible. So. Yeah, and just make them aware they're very, you know, we've had moments where why, why doesn't my friend have kidney disease or why, why do they, why do I have it and why don't you have it and just explaining to them as much in their language as a child can understand genetics and how this happened, why this happened, why their friends don't have it, why their friends can do things they can't do so that, you know, those life struggles happen yearly as they grow and, and they have few restrictions. So that's an ongoing challenge, but they've, they've coped with it really well. So as much as they've been through and the scary parts with, you know, emergency room visits and surgery, they've, they, you know, it's been challenging, but, but um, they've been pretty strong. Yeah, I think that's, I think that's, it. that's what we got. Thank you so much. Yeah.